Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like talking about makeup, beauty, and skincare here in my channel. For today's video, I will be swatching all of my Hello Bloom Beauty's matte lip paints because these matte lippies are super multi-purpose and I really love them. And I wanted to do a swatch video for you guys so that you have a reference to look back to. I do have all 10 shades here with me and they did send it to me in PR. So in my channel, I like talking about makeup and skincare here. I like doing reviews, trying on different beauty products and sharing my thoughts with you guys. I like playing with colorful makeup. As you can see, it's not as super colorful but, you know, it's valentine's day inspired that is basically my passion however however i am aware that this passion of mine reviewing makeup and skincare has an impact on my financial health and i don't want to overspend i like beautiful things but i also don't want to overspend on beautiful things i just only want to pick and choose what i think would add value to my life if that's your jam please do subscribe to my channel as well as clicking on that notification bell right beside it so that you get notified whenever i have a new video now let's get started Listen, okay, my lips are so ready to go into war with all these swatches of these 10 products. If, By the way, if you're interested in this look, I have filmed a tutorial. It's going to be up in my IGTV, so do follow me there if you're interested in this look. I basically use local makeup products, and I'm also using one of these matte lip paints on my face right now. So yeah, just watch out for that. I wanted to do the swatches for these Hello Bloom matte lip paints. Like, I, all, I do have 10 shades here with me. I just wanted you to have a reference of what they look like on me if you have my skin tone or at least you can better decide for you whether or not you like any of these colors. I did get these products in PR just so that you're aware and I'm also affiliated with Hello Bloom Beauty just so that you would know I do have a code with them if you want to use it but if you don't want to use it that's also fine. Before we get into the swatching I just want to tell you briefly what's the difference etc etc. So the Hello Bloom Matte Lip Paints are an oil-based lip matte paint i really don't know what else to say they do dry down matte they are multi-purpose oil based sila you can use it for your eyes lips and cheeks right now i'm wearing one on my lips and another one on my cheeks they are infused with argan oil sunflower oil vitamin e jojoba grapeseed beeswax and shea butter so they are comfortable and i do believe that they are comfortable on my lips i do have dry lips but it's not a problem my lips do not flake in this I, they are long wearing i've worn them with a mask like with a face mask and there was very little fading like it didn't rub off dun sa lips ko and didn't create a mess underneath the mask the shade range is definitely beautiful as in you have different shades from reds to dark reds to berries to pinks nudes terracottas kenyan it's pretty wide chain range for like their first release actually released seven and then they released three more i do have all the old packagings and they look like this it comes in a parang nail polish bottle you twist it out there is no stopper it is kind of a glass tube and then it has like a regular doe foot applicator. Um, I am one of those people who was not a super huge fan of the packaging. It is cute. It has a steel ball inside it para you can mix it up. Because once you uh, place this for a very long time in your cabinet, it does settle down a little bit. It's not like, you know, dramatic na nag separate talaga yung pigment and all that stuff. But it's still one homogeneous formula. Hindi siya yung separate na yung base with the pigments. No, it doesn't do, it doesn't, it's not like that. Problem with the old packaging, or at least my opinion with the packaging, is that it is, this formula is super duper pigmented. A little goes a very long way here. And you know naman, it's easier for me to start very lightly and then apply and add and add and add. With this one kasi, when you twist it out, it doesn't have like a stopper and then you have too much product basically on your doe foot applicator. And so, whenever I use this, I always have to like scrape the excess on the tube and it creates this mess. Like you can see that it, it has a mess around the rim. Ayan, on the opening. And it doesn't, it's not pretty kasi you end up wasting product that way and and also time, you know, it's not 
Just open it, swipe, and then done. Gets more. So that kind of is a struggle. With the new packaging, I'm gonna sh insert a photo here of the new packaging. With the new packaging, you have a much slender bottle. It also contains more product inside. It's 10 ml instead of the 8 ml in the old packaging. You do get like a frosted glass, which I think adds. You know, mas social lang siya tignan, and I really like that. And as I can see that there is now a stopper in the product, so I assume it's going to be less messy. I have not tried it personally. Ang cute lang talaga ng packaging. It has this pink cap and it does have the same doe foot applicator, pero mas mahaba siya. And the cap is not as fat as this one. Regular price is 195 pesos for 10 ml of product. I have not tried it yet, so I cannot tell what's the difference with the ease of use, but with the updates, I feel like mas madaling gamitin yung bago. Now let's move on to the swatches. Why don't we start with the color that I'm wearing now and this is Milkman. According to their website, this is one of their best sellers and for very good reasons because I think it suits a lot of skin tones. I think it suits a lot of people. Um, it's a very nice nude on me. According to the website, the Milkman is a nude peach color which I think it is. It is kind of a peachy color. And I love using this for my lip. I love using this as well as a blush. It is really pretty color. So yeah, and that is Milkman. The next shade that we have is cotton. It is kind of similar with Milkman. The depth is the same, like lightness, darkness is the same. However, the undertone dun sila nagtatalo. Uh, cotton has a rosy nude shade. I really like this. It's very romantic. Mas naga fit itong shade na to dun sa overall look ko kasi my look is more cool tone while Milkman is more warmer. And I really like this one. This is actually the second batch that they released. I, again, it's one of those MLBBs. Depending on which one you like, if you like a rosy nude shade, more mauve more on the cool tone side, go with cotton. But if you like something more peachy, go with Milkman. So yeah, this is cotton. Alright, so the third shade that we have here is Rabbit Hole. It, this is described as a French rose, but I think that this is more pinker, more brighter, more fun. Mas pabebe yung color niya. It makes me feel younger whenever I wear something like this. And I really like that they release a bright shade. Bagay tong color na to, even up to the medium skin tones. I'm not really sure if this will look great with morenas but it is kind of bright very cool color hindi man siya to the point na neon bright barbie pink na only a few people can pull off at least ha? like in my opinion barbie pinks are super duper hard to pull off and mas na nakakatakot yung cool color na yun. very intimidating this one isn't so yeah this is a rabbit hole shade is I think very very underrated like I don't understand why not a lot of people like this but I actually love this this is one of my favorite shades this is very berry the name is so fitting it is a berry shade you could see pink you can see a little bit of purple coming through in the 
I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but from the viewfinder that I'm looking at, it does look a little brighter. But when I look at myself in the mirror, it's more muted. It's more a, lot, a little darker. I could see the purple undertones showing through and I really like it. According to Hello Bloom Beauty, Very Berry is described as a mulberry wine shade. Maybe mulberry, I'm not really sure wine because when I think of wine, it's kind of more darker, more sultry. I wish that more people would love this just the same as I do. And I really like using this as well for purple looks like now. And I also like using this as a blush for purple cooler tone looks because this is just so good, so beautiful. Really love these shades. Again, this is very berry. Now we're moving into the warm brown shades and we're starting off with cookie dough. This is actually the color that I'm wearing on my cheeks today mixed with a little bit with foundation just so that I could manage the pigmentation. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. As described in Hello Bloom Beauty's website, it's called a vintage rum. But I would describe it as a warm nude brown shade. Um, almost my hint of orangey tones na siya. I really like this shade. This is actually my favorite nude. Lahat na lang favorite, no? But ang hirap talaga pumili ng colors dito sa Hello Bloom Beauty kasi they're all really nice. Like, I can't really explain why but I really like this color as well. This is one of the newest shades that they released. I can't believe that it actually looks as good with the eye look that I have right now. I'm not really sure because if this eye look would look good with all of them. But anyway, this is what I have right now. So yeah, this is cookie dough and what do you guys think? This has the cutest name. It's called Sushi. Oh my gosh. This shade name is called Sushi. It is a burnt terracotta shade. It's also what's in the description of the Hello Beam Beauty's Shopee page. So yeah, super pretty shade. It is darker. It's more orange than brown in my opinion. It's really, really nice. Very, very trendy shade as well. This is the final color in the newest shades that they released. So, three lang yung additional shades nila. I think this would suit a lot of people, especially I think Morenas would enjoy this color. Really, really beautiful color. Surprisingly, it went well with my look. Well, it is kind of strong, you know, it's not something that I would usually pair with this look, but thing that looks amazing. <sighs> yeah, and again, this is Sushi. everybody's favorite and for very good reasons it's a nude brown shade nothing can go wrong with this shade everyone can wear it i've seen morenas wear this and it looks amazing on them it's a latte brown shade according to them and yeah i would say it's not too cool not too warm din man siya super gray din man siya super light din man siya orange warm it's just you know really really nice brown shade. Alam mo, this color reminds me of the 90s brown lips trend but more chic and more updated. <laughs> At least the opinion ko. It's not like dark and vampy. It actually looks super flattering and pretty. This is one of the best sellers of Hello Bloom Beauty. This and Milkman are the best sellers according to their Shopee page. I understand why. So again, this is Hey Latte. This just 
just a bright, juicy orange lip. I pento na kaklash sa dun sa eye look ko, but since they're contrasting colors, oh, I just can't. I just, I just really like this color so much. I like orange lips. Tell me about it. According to Hello Bloom Beauty, this is a millennial terracotta. I'd say this is a bright coral orange color. I don't know. Di talaga ako magaling magdescribe, but take it as you will. This color is amazing. I really like orange lips. It's bright but not too in your face. It's not too intimidating of a color, even though that it's this. It's orange. I just really like it. Okay, I'm, I can't stop raving about it. I can't stop gushing over this shade because I really like this color. In the real person, it's not as bright as you what you see in the viewfinder. It's just the right shade of orange, muted. In my opinion, it's muted and yeah, and really pretty. So yeah, this is Mooncake. shade that we have is aptly named as love bug this is a really nice shade it's a classic red of course they're going to have a classic red here it's not too bright it's not you know watermelon pink hindi siya blue undertone hello bloom beauty described love bug as a scarlet sage shade not really sure what scarlet sa shade <laughs> Scarlet Sage means whenever I'm wearing this I feel so empowered. I feel confident I don't know something about just reds make me feel like I'm bold I think my boyfriend would love this because he loves reds on me. I think I should wear reds more often and yeah So this is love bug watch party with chili spice this shade is really gorgeous it looks like roasted chilies it's red with a little bit of vampiness in it Ni naman siya too vampy no it's kind of like my purple undertones siya. very wine burgundy ganin yung kulay niya it reminds me of that color lahat na lang ng dark red shades no binanggit okay so officially Hello Bloom Beauty describes this as a Merlot red shade. This is again another one of their best sellers. Ang ganda ng pagka red niya. I really truly believe that. In my opinion, I think this would look great on everyone. I feel like I've said that so many times in this video. This red is really perfect. Like super duper perfect. I'm really into this. Surprisingly, looks good with this. I look again. Alam mo yun, like, I, I don't understand. Paano nila nagawa to? Paano nila nagawa na sobrang ganda lahat ng shades. Ang ganda lang ng pagka curate. Oh my gosh, as in, it's beautiful. It's so classy, super sophisticated. This is something that I would wear on an evening out, you know, if, if I'm going on a dinner, if it's something that's expensive, it's an expensive restaurant, parang ganun little black dress and everything again this is chili spice so ayun guys that's everything for the hello bloom beauty's matte lip paints like i said super super duper hard yung pumili diba like i cannot choose the perfect the right shade so if i were to choose my favorite shade i think it's going to be mooncake and very berry and also cookie dough like i think i already shared my top favorite shades here in this range as well but i believe na nagvary siya i don't know it's just really so hard to choose and it also my mood sometimes affects the shades that i like i cannot choose between cotton and milkman because honestly it really depends on the look I would prefer cotton if I go wing if I'm going with something more romantic, more rosy, ganyan. And then if I want to go warmer, I would go with milkman. It's just so hard to choose honestly. Like ang dami lang kasi magagandang shades and lahat surprisingly bagay dun sa look. Um, yung iba syempre not the best fitting pero I still think that it would still work anyway. So 
Ayan, I hope that this video is very helpful for you in choosing the right Hello Bloom Beauties monthly paints. Like, ano bang favorite shades nyo? I want to know rin down below, like, what's your favorite shade? If nahihirapan kayo to choose one shade, I would also want to know what's your top three. Siguro top three na lang para mas madali for you. Or baka mas mahirap. I don't know. So, yeah, if you have someone who's also thinking about getting this one, pero nahihirapan sila in choosing the right shades, what would they look like on the lips, please do send this video to your friend. Maybe, like, it would help. <laughs> it would help them and it would help me too. I'm really happy that Hello Bloom Beauty changed their packaging overall. I think it looks sleeker, don't you think? What do you guys think? Do you like the old packaging or do you like the newer packaging? I think the newer packaging is much more sleek. I love the frosted glass. Like I, I think it adds a little, a nice touch to the product overall. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you find this helpful. If not, entertaining at least. And ayon, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.